and now we are going to learn mechanical injuries any injuries due to any of the trauma it could be blunt injury it could be sharp injury so what is the meaning of blunt trauma or sharp trauma see when any hard object is used when any hard object like stone or a brick or a rod or which is having a broader surface area when this kind of object is used for any kind of injury this will be resulting into blunt trauma but if a blade is used it will give a sharp cut injury so we are going to learn in detail blunt trauma and sharp trauma first of all let's talk about blunt force injury whenever a person will be using a stone or a brick or any hard object to hit someone and after that whatever injury will be there that will be considered as a case of blunt injury so when i talk about abrasion and contusion abrasion and contusion these two are the examples of blunt trauma okay how to differentiate abrasion and contusion wherever if a person is using his nails or maybe a nail prick injury or maybe a thorn injury after that whenever there will be rupture of external superficial epidermal layer and you can see minor bleeding externally that is abrasion minor bleeding externally it is called as abrasion but if a person is going to hit you by a stone or any rod hit like this after that you can see that there is no bleeding outside but you can see skin has become reddish or bluish color why do you think there is internal bleeding yes under the skin subcutaneously or under the skin small small blood vessels got ruptured because of blunt hit there was extravasation of bleeding inside which is called as contusion which is called as contusion in contusion there is internal bleeding externally you cannot see any bleeding no bleeding outside and when i will show you the pictures you will be having more clarity so in abrasions externally there will be rupture of epidermal layer you can see minor minor bleeding but in contusion externally no bleeding third is laceration when a heavy force is going to get into contact with any part of your body like this maybe a car accident maybe a bike accident maybe because of hard hit by a rod and after that there will be removal of a skin like this now this is called as laceration when there will be skin tear so there can be rupture of skin also there can be rupture of subcutaneous tissue also so this is also a type of blunt trauma this is what laceration laceration because of hard hit there can be fracture of bone also so all these are examples of blunt force injury now what about sharp cut injury see when a light cutting weapon is used like a blade even this blade or surgical blade also when a surgeon is using a surgical blade for incision this is called as incised injury or cut injury so light cutting weapon this is called as what cut injury or incisional injury next sharp force by a heavy cutting object heavy cutting weapon like axe or a chopper this will result into chop injury 
चॉप इंजरी शार्प फोर्स बाय अपॉइंटेड वेपन लाइक दिस लाइक अ नाइफ लाइक अ स्क्रू ड्राइवर when this pointed object is going to penetrate the body this will be considered as stab injury chop injury incised injury and stab injury all these are the examples of sharp cutting injury so we are going to discuss one by one first of all we are going to learn about all types of blunt trauma like abrasion contusion and laceration after that we are going to differentiate yes there can be rupture of skin and subcutaneous tissue in laceration also and in incision also how to differentiate these two so let's understand from the basics so first of all we are going to learn abrasion abrasion is what 